This week I'm walking to the border of Nicaragua. I had to do my paperwork for Wombat in the capital city, which is about 300k away and or more. <laughs> um, and it only gave me 10 days total um, for the expiration date of the paperwork. And so now I have to walk all the way to the border without resting um, to arrive on the day that I said I'd arrive, which was in 10 days from the time the paperwork was done. So um, I've been trying to walk a little bit extra every day so that I've just got a little bit of leeway at the end. Um, but I had to stop in and pick up some shoes, so I lost all of the time that I'd earned. And um, now I'm trying to gain some time back and we're both pretty tired and we have five days of walking left. Meanwhile, this is what the night before leaving looks like. I've left a lot of stuff to the last minute and I'm changing equipment and now using a water bladder and trying to figure out how to pack that the best way and thinking the side pocket but then also maybe just sitting it on top of my pack and held in with um, the mat that I use for the bottom of my tent. Um, there. So we'll see, but I would normally want to be winding down and getting ready for bed by now, um, or and at least in bed by 7 for a 2am start, but that never happens. <laughs> well, that was pleasant. <laughs> yep. Day two is a hilly day. Uh... My pack strap broke. I just met the farmers who um, run this organic dairy farm. I'm like, oh, funny that, I'm really craving a milkshake. <laughs> anyway, they wanted to take me on a tour and I was like, I can't because I really want to get this distance done today. <sighs> oh, I probably should. But the thing is, I really also can't afford to miss a date to get to Nicaragua. So, onwards. Good morning, buenos dias. If you're lucky, we'll hear. You get that? We're back in Howler Monkey Country. <laughs> Still may sloth, but I do like monkeys, so it's something. Downhill day. Oh, I'm that's happy. <laughs> there he is a bit cheeky too, so it must have more energy. My little trail just got a little bit obscure. <laughs> but this is the way it goes. I might have to pull out my trekking pole. Or maybe, hmm, maybe I need to go through the other road, we'll see. I did ask if I could go this trail. <laughs> I've got a feeling, but anyway. It hasn't been used for a while, but it's still like I'm getting there. I've just had to crawl under a few dodgy bits. Um, you know, this is totally normal in the, in the life of me. <laughs> oh, and that loves being in front and showing me the way. This is above my head height. Just, um, a little bit of perspective. Oh, shortcut win. Huh. They're closed on a Sunday. They're really popular here. It's like a bicycle with a motor attached. Meanwhile, so are these ice blocks. Homemade, two purposes, they're delicious. And also, now that it's getting really hot, <laughs> so good. Worried, I can't cross. 
cross this river. If I can't cross this river, I'd have to do an extra five kilometers. When? Oopsie, I didn't record any of that. <laughs> but we're wet. The wombat was cautious, which is good. I was like, stay behind. And he was like, you are too slow. And took off. So I was like, okay, we're committed. <laughs> Lunch is ceviche in a little bag of chips. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone wants to know when I'm going to put my shoes on, um, but today's the last day. I'm really excited because um, I had a dream about the hole in my shoe last night and um, it was a lot bigger. So, <laughs> 15 kilometers to go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You're not gonna believe me. <sighs> I'm so excited, I can't even, I just can't. <laughs> and I was like, today's gonna be the day. I can feel it, and there it is. <laughs> These things are hard to spot. It's like trying to find a koala. <laughs> um, but it rained a lot last night, so um, it's looking a bit wet and like all the weight is center, central, you know, so it's cuddled up and just didn't fit among the natural line of the tree. Yay! I was just thinking yesterday how I was going to be like, oh, sloth to Lucy Nil. There's two countries where they're meant to be. I haven't been able to find one. <sighs> Good boy. <laughs> okay, I have food. I have dog. I am on the road on my way to the campsite. Um, they're letting me stay there for free tonight, which is pretty awesome. And um, more awesome, this is the last steps that these shoes are uh, gonna take. New muddy water. Day one, morning one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Damn, you're not coming away. No way they're going to be open it. Four in the morning. <laughs> All right, I've made it onto the principal road, and um, <laughs> I did check my English for a second there. And this is my view, and this for the next couple of days. <laughs> it's actually not too bad. People have been waving. I have accommodation. I'm staying in someone's apartment. I went to her house because on Google Maps all the time here, people just put things in that aren't really there as a joke. So someone put that there was a shop here, so I skipped the last shop on my walk today. Arrived here and she's like, it's not a shop, we're not a shop. Anyway, she's letting me stay in the apartment just here. And um so I don't have to set my tent up and I can have a nice place to camp tonight. I'll show you. It's 
9.30 in the morning. It's not that hot, but uh, Wombat disagrees. Today is my last full day before I reach the border, which is to say that tomorrow I get to the border. <laughs> and I'm aiming to get there early at six so that I can get through without problems. And if there is problems, I have time to solve it because I have to leave on the day that the papers are set for me to be shipping my animal. Um, anyway, Wombat was doing another Hollywood this morning, pretending that he was sick and um, it was hiding under the bed from me. And then as soon as we got outside, he started being a silly goose. <laughs> Private road sign. Um, and they're like, you can't come in without permission. And I said, oh, but that's my guess, is I can't come in without permission I'm under 15. Anyway, I was like, look, this is all I'm doing. I've gone through so many farms. People always let me through. Please let me through because there's no space on the, on the main road. It's very dangerous. <laughs> and then, um, fortunately, a more relaxed security guard arrived. He must be there. I have worked here for longer with more experience. And he was like, ah, I'm so happy. Because the road is, the road is, there's no space. There's a lot of scrub. It's really hard to see when the cars are coming. And um, I'd eventually have to put one bat on the lead, which he just hates. And I know that we probably have a week of this coming up. So it's just good to be able to enjoy this kind of road while I can. Look at that. having a great day. It might be that it's because I'm cutting through private property again. Um, but actually, I said, well, one that seems to be really happy. He's not walking all the way behind me. The weather is cooler and overcast and breezy. And I just feel good. Wombat has been stamped out back there. And now I need to get myself stamped out. Now we both need to get stamped in. It's my stamp out. And now we both need to get stamped in. <laughs> Into the one now. I'm in! <laughs> oh, I always get so nervous going through because there's always something that you don't have. Like for example, a dollar in USD to get into the office and then $14 in USD um, to buy entry in. But they don't, they have a different currency here. Anyway, it just happened that by luck I had $20, like USD, left over from Panama in my bag. So, what a relief. <laughs> Otherwise, they're like, oh, you're going to have to go back to Costa Rica and get some money out from an ATM. No thanks. Now, I'm going to go to my first Nicaraguan ATM, get some cash out and get some food because I could really do with like real food. Yay! So the ATM, I would look bank, that was pinned on Google Maps doesn't exist. <laughs> um, and I asked around some local if I can get money out and they're like, oh you can't, not here. So I just thought, okay, I'm going to be hungry. I get into a town tomorrow, no big deal. And then um, I just had a good feeling about a shop that I was walking past. So I went over um, and had to cross the highway to get to there and asked the lady in there and the guy was in there being served he's like oh, I'll show you where you can go because there's a lady around the corner who just exchanged the leftover money that I had she could have given me money out of from my card but then she was like oh I'll just exchange 
what's left over from Costa Rica. So now I've got enough to get me into town, or oh, I hope so. <laughs> I don't even really know how the money works here. Into the thing in the thousands, it's now back in the hundreds in terms of units. This is a dragon fruit juice with some fruit and a typical breakfast in Nicaragua. These are plantain, not bananas. And then I've got some eggs with onion through it. And then some tomato and salami, I think, was a kind of meat. And then some parmesan, which I haven't had in a long time. And this is pinto. It's a really common, it's served with everything, rice and beans. Um, it's delicious until you've eaten too much of it. <laughs> and then I have a coffee and I have backup coffee. And I've gotten to a camp spot. I don't know if you can tell, this is the camp spot just over here. It's really, really windy, which is great because it's almost like almost good to be wearing a jumper, but not quite. Um, and then here, a part of the camping is like a kind of, well, it's a bar and it's a Sunday night. So I asked about whether or not it's a good idea to camp and she said, no, it's pretty safe and um, tranquil at night. I moved campsites. Uh, it wasn't the people that were really worrying me, but it was more that the wind was just, there's no protection and I just didn't want to be slapped in the head all night by my tent, which has happened to me before. So um, not in this tent though, I was kind of eager to try it out, but also where I am now, it's pretty windy and the tent seems to be quite bomb proof, but it's good to test these things in small steps rather than just going all out. What I wasn't expecting though, is there's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of spiders everywhere. None in my tent that I know of. But outside there's like they're all setting up underneath the underneath the um ah, what do you call it? See, I'm tired. The vestibule. Yeah. Welcome to my new life. Walking in the rain. <laughs> Actually I can't say I hate it um because it's much better and the heat that I've been dreading. So um, if this keeps up through all of Central America, I am not gonna complain about it. I am trying to keep you on an angle to keep the screen dry, but this is where we're walking. Mangoes. <laughs> another day, another shortcut through a finger, another farm. <laughs> it's pretty nice actually. Um, there's a house down here, so no doubt I'll be asking for the permission to pass through. Alright, we got permission. Didn't take much for them to notice us given that every farm has a dog that's ready to um, let it be known there's someone visiting. Um, although only one. <laughs> Normally there's a lot and it's a lot more scarier. <laughs> but this one was like, woof woof. I'm not sure. <laughs> and then of course, one that chased it off. Anyway, we're allowed through. So, here we go. Well, that was nice. Not only did I get a tour, but then he helped me through a fence that I had to crawl through <laughs> to get off the property. I think there used to be a fence there, and now there's not because the property was split, and this part has a new owner. Um, <laughs> but how cool, and he gave me some mangoes for my days off ahead and they have a bunch of other fruit but it's not in um, season <laughs> people are so nice it's so cool when like when people help you know when they don't necessarily have to let's clean my lens a little ah, that's better um yeah so he's telling me that they also grow bananas and then they've got a bunch of native fruits here that um like um, not Casca. Ugh. Anyway, they've got heaps and heaps and heaps of different types of produce and all of it goes overseas internationally, you know what I mean. Um, and uh, I've just saved myself a heap of time walking. It was a massive shortcut, but also just more pleasant because I was on a uh, highway before.
Okay, so we've just taken a walk up the street and had coming back and then stopped for a cold drink because I'm discovering why Central America is known to be so hot. Alright, so then I'm on my way to the vet with Wamba. 8am and I already have sweat tripling down my back. <laughs> Uh, this town's really old school. They've got horses and carriages going down the street and rickshaws run by bikes. Very cool. Yesterday, just yesterday, Nicaragua passed a law. They've banned any animals being imported into the country from Costa Rica because they have screwworm there, which is a type of um, worm that burrows into the skin of animals and then the larvae develop under the skin so you know of your dog or cow or whatever and then a fly hatches out of the skin and so currently for the unforeseeable future there are to be no imported animals coming in from where I just came in three days ago can you believe that 